Hey guys, it's Skybird here, and I'm coming at you today with another bootleg review, this time of the set Taraga Norik from the brand... I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, so this was actually sent to me by one of my friends uh, relatively recently. I'm actually doing a uh, haul video on the product that they ended up sending me with a couple of interesting things in it. One of them was this set here. This is Taraga Nork. Um, I wasn't too excited to get it, but at the same time I thought, you know, I may never see it again. I'm already getting this package, paying for shipping. I might as well get this one too. So it is interesting because I wasn't aware that there were going to be some recolors in this set, and there are. However, some of the other parts in this set are absolute rubbish, and I was expecting that. Um, so I have seen some of these parts before from a bunch of different brands, from Bila, from other brands with names I can't pronounce. Uh, and I think the most notable uh, part that I recognize is these joints with the crack or missing segment in them. Um, and this is not a fluke. This is not a broken piece. That is just the mold that they ended up going for. Um, what's interesting is some of the pieces fit very snugly while other ones just kind of slip and slide. Notably, this body here is just sliding along the axle that's connecting the legs. I can't say 100% that this is the exact build just because I don't have the instructions for it. However, um, it does not have a double long socket on the back here, um, so it's not exactly the same build as like Kazi's set or Taraga. Um, Lee Khan. Don't know why I was forgetting that name. Popular character. Anyway, though. Uh, but this character did fascinate me still. Um, the Kanohi Kuril or P uh, Pukui, I think. Uh, oh, wow. I can't remember what. <laughs> anyway, weird name, but is one of my absolute favorite masks from the entire line of Bionicle. So I was always fascinated when I saw this set. And it's, it's definitely interesting. Unfortunately, that is one of the more shameful pieces in the set. Uh, just in terms of quality. So the quality on this thing is all over the place. For the most part, the silver or silver-ish colored pieces in the set are pretty good. There's no real, like, mold marks or anything like that left over, no rough edges, except for the Kirill. The Kirill is a bit of a special case in that uh, it does have some pretty rough edges uh, here and there. Um, alongside that, you'll see these Toa Metru arms, and what's interesting about those is that they are not Metru Red, but they are Mata Red. So, in terms of noteworthy pieces, those are fantastic. I'm very excited to have those. Um, and it seems like pretty much a perfect match for Mata Red. I got a different arm here, which isn't going to show you anything because this is dark or reddish brown. Uh, but, yeah, always cool to have that piece in a new color. Also, that Hordika arm piece on the base there is also that red color as well. So, very nice to see those. What I find interesting is that where these eye pieces are connected in the front, these trans red eyes, this is, in, it's, it's completely flexible. Like, I can move that whole axle and everything, but like, pulling this piece out, it doesn't move easily in and out of that. So I'm not, I don't know, there's just a crazy amount of friction in there and looseness. It does not make sense to me. But, yeah, so as I was mentioning, some of the pieces just fit super loose. Like, I was afraid to push this axle piece in here in the end because it's just so tight that I feel like I would never be able to get it out. Um, that said, the actual colors here are a bit interesting. So the head on it is basically your standard Kazi build, but with an orange, kind of ugly, sickly orange color. It's not great. Uh, the mask itself is a pretty good match for old silver, except it doesn't have the depth that silver has in it. So here's an official one uh, from Toa Nork, and you'll see that this one's very metallic, very shiny. It has a lot of depth to the glitteriness of the set, uh, or of the piece, and it just looks very good, very nice. This looks very dull. Um, it almost looks gray, and I personally wish it would have been gray, rather than see it in this kind of ugly <laughs> silver color. So it is a bit of a missed opportunity, I think, that it wasn't recolored. I think gray would have still looked really good. Actually, I think preferably better um, than this silver color does look, but um, overall still an interesting piece to see, I guess. So uh, I think this is also my first axle-based bootleg mask, now that I think about it. Um, so I guess that is noteworthy, at the very least. Let's go ahead and move on, though, in terms of pieces. We're just going to kind of disassemble this guy because he doesn't deserve to live. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, the arm here is good. Now, these are not Lego uh, joints, so I can't necessarily say that the friction 
on them is any good or anything like that. They could very easily just kind of flop all over the place. I do have to adjust my camera uh, to focus on this. I, I, I can either focus or I can have lighting, but I can't choose both. It's really silly. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, it looks good overall. The joints that they're connected to have seen better days. They definitely don't look all that quality. But yeah, in terms of the arms themselves, they look fine. There's a little bit of a mold mark there where they were cast. But aside from that, nothing nothing uh, out of the ordinary in terms of their looks. And I'm glad that that's the case because the legs are an absolute abomination. Like, they, they look like they're in pain just living. It is awful. <laughs> like, the ball joints are super rough looking. Like, they look like they're they're covered in sand or something. It's terrible. They don't even sit in these ball joint sockets all that well, to be honest. Uh, and just look at that quality. <laughs> it is trash. So very glad that the arms did not mirror this. I'm not sure why the leg quality is so poor when the arm quality looks so good. I imagine maybe I don't know this, but this brand might source its pieces from different suppliers. I don't, again, I don't know that, um, so I can't say that that's necessarily the case, um, but I wouldn't be surprised. Either that or the way that they make their molds varies. So perhaps they have some injection molds while some of the parts are 3D printed. Those are only a couple of the things that I can think of. Let me go ahead and adjust this lighting again, uh, but still... I definitely think it's a novelty. It's a neat novelty at the very least. The weapon here is your standard uh, galley axe. And that actually does look good uh, in terms of the uh, quality of it. There's no rough edges. There's a little bit of pitting up here at the top. But it's nothing too noteworthy. And again, that color is that flat kind of ugly silver. But at least in this case, um, the weapon kind of supports the look. So it's not all that bad. And it's definitely an interesting recolor. Even if some of the little details up here are a little bit ugly uh, same with the feet as well the feet actually look just fine personally um they're still that sickly gray color let me try and get that out of there uh, but overall look fine the details are good um i don't really see any rough edges or anything like that on them they look flat they sit flat they don't wobble or anything like that so there are definitely some hit and miss pieces in the set would i consider buying it if you can find it i don't know i think the main thing is if you could find a set like this because i don't even know the brand i really can't even tell you for sure if it's worth buying however if this was something you could find for like a dollar or the equivalent of that in the u.s i think it's a neat novelty you know it's something you can put on a shelf just to to fill it out or maybe build your own with real parts since all of these parts do exist in real lego except for the mata red um i think it's definitely something you could do personally i do wish that that mask was a recolor of some kind rather than trying to be silver uh, because it's just not good um but it's clear that they were trying to make it norik and i like having the idea that the taraga build for metru style is this kazi style body it's a body that i'm quite fond of kazi i think was the first um voyamatoran that i owned and I bought it because I just thought it was an interesting build. I didn't have the uh, Nuju uh, Metru mask at the time, so it was my way of getting that mask. And uh, I ended up finding out that it had brand new color, at least a Bionicle, brand new colored Borok eyes in that set. They had been released in other sets, but first time we'd seen them in Bionicle. So the set does hold a little bit of a special place in my heart. Um, I think it's still a really nice looking set. And, uh, yeah, so it's very neat to have these pieces in, uh, colors that don't otherwise exist elsewhere. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a little bit longer than it needed to be, but I think it kind of justifies it with the, uh, the parts, because they're hit or miss, but I think the few parts that needed to be done well, being the Mata Red pieces, were done well enough. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and show me by supporting the channel. Do so by leaving a like or a subscribe if you'd like to follow along in my journey of bootleg finding and Rahi building. Uh, aside from that, you can, of course, get a hold of me in anywhere, but I'll leave links to my Discord and Instagram in the description below. And make sure you leave a comment telling me your thoughts on these guys or if you have any experience with them as well. I'd love to know if any of these other guys exist. Maybe a, a Taraga Iruni or something would be interesting. And until next time, I'll see you later. Take care.